everybody. So, back out for another summer adventure. As you can see by the intro, out on the kayaks. Me and my buddy Chris, that hiking guy, out here on Lake Monroe. And <clears throat> as always, it's been a little bit of an adventure. So our plan was we put in and we we're going to go to this little island we keep seeing on the map. We thought it'd be cool to camp out there. Um, as we came by, there was like really nothing much to that island. There's really nowhere to camp. So we just kept on paddling. Uh, I'm guessing probably around six miles today. So not a, not a bad little paddle. But uh, we're on the Deem side of the lake here. We're over on site 14, just getting things set up. Flip the camera around here for you. So that is our evening view. Sun's just going down. That ridge line there, where the sun's going down, that's actually the ridge you walk out to get to uh, the peninsula. So that's part of the peninsula trail up there. Kind of give you a reference where we're at. But yeah, we're gonna finish getting set up here and uh, we're just gonna hang for the weekend. We might paddle around a little bit tomorrow, but we're gonna have this as our base camp. So good times. All right guys, we got camp set up. There's my trusty old Kelty two-person tent there. I'm gonna leave the uh, rain fly off tonight. I don't think we're supposed to get any rain, but I do have it ready just in case. But uh, we got to this camp and there is tent number seven abandoned that I've found in my years of camping now and hiking. We came up here and sure enough, somebody left it there. So we're gonna see uh, when we leave on Sunday, if there's any way we can get that out of here. I don't know, it's got two blankets in it. I don't know people, why do you leave your tents? But, you know, as always, when I camp with Chris, I'm enjoying all his little gadgets he brings out. So he has this new string light to show me. He's got his tent, like I said, right here. Got the old duplex out. Um, what all we have here? Let's see, let's start over here. I've got, we got bug protection tonight. I've got my little Yuko lantern with citronella candle in it. This is the flex tail. Tiny repel. Tiny repel. It's sort of like a little, whatchamacallit. Yeah. Thermocell. There Thermos you go. Thermos Boy, I had a, I had a blonde moment there and I don't even have hair anymore. But we've got Chris's little, all right, had to get some lights so you guys can see the rest of this. But this is Chris's little portable fire pit. We've used this many, many times. So... Makes it nice. You can have a little fire anywhere and really leave no trace. So back onto the bug protection. We've got a little coil going over here and we got one over there. So I think we're set there on the old bug repel. But yeah, this is camp for the night. We're just getting set up and it's about time to eat. Oh, I had some peach tea. Believe it or not, Chris had ice cubes still frozen in his cooler. I couldn't have thought of anything better tonight than ice cubes in my beach <laughs> tea. It was 94 degrees when we got out on the water today and 92 when we got here. It's still probably mid 80s, yeah. but ice cubes. I'm so happy. Morning, everybody. Well, we had quite the storm come in last night. It was uh, 50 mile an hour wind gusts. It poured like crazy, lightning all over the place, but we survived. Right, Chris? We did. We survived. So uh, the only real casualty I had is my Kelty tent. I've had this little Kelty, I think it's a Grand Mesa for, shoot, I don't know, seven or eight years now. It's never let me down until last night, and I'll show you what I'm talking about. As you can see, my sleeping pads on top, and you see the different colors there, that's because it's all wet. Um, trying to dry it out now with my little fan I brought, but that whole back corner back there was just a puddle. Um, Taking the cloth in there now and wiped it all out. Hopefully it will dry for tonight. But I'm trying to get all my stuff dried out. I'm sure it will dry out by tonight. Got my rain fly over there. I do have a tarp that I actually brought for shade. It's an old 12 by 9 hammock tarp that I bought. So I think tonight we are supposed to get some rain as well. And hopefully everything will be dried out. I'm going to put that tarp up over my tent as well. Hopefully stay dry, but for now it's coffee time. All right, guys, I'll show you a little something here I've been doing recently for breakfast on these shorter trips or when I don't have to carry everything. It's been working out pretty good. It's making pancakes. It's got, it's just, it's so much better than just, you know, a peak refuel meal or Mount House or something like that. But I've just been bringing a pancake mix and a 
plastic bag like this. I add water until I get the right consistency. Then I'll show you my frying pan and everything else that I bring to actually make this. Also something I've done for syrup is put in a plastic bag just in case it would for some reason leak. I don't want it leaking in my food bag. But I bought this little bitty, this little bottle here. Got it at Walmart for like a buck. Um, I don't know, holds probably like four ounces, something like that. So just fill that up, it's got a little flip top on it. And uh, works pretty good. So I'll show you how we do this. All right, so what I got here is just a little MSR non-stick pan. A little handle on it. My little BRS stove. And I'll just pour the pancake mix in there. And this doesn't sit on here real well because of the size of it, but I'll just usually take it and hover it and just kind of give it one of these to just keep like you know moving the heat around. And it works out pretty good, so let's see how this comes out. Oh yeah, how's that? Look at that drizzle for shizzle. Drizzle for shizzles, Chris says. That's way better than any mountain house garbage. It's beautiful. Way better than a peak refuel. This is real food. Hey, 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 now. Let's, let's, not, let's not get <laughs> crazy here. All right, guys, got breakfast at 8. We've cleaned up camp a little bit. It's turned out to be a beautiful day. The sun's coming up. It's starting to warm up, so Chris brought a tarp as well. We set that up, so we've got some shade. But one thing I love about my buddy Chris, he's always got gadgets. So if you can see that, not only do we have shade, but he has a little bit of remote control. Yeah, that's, you've seen it, a ceiling fan. So <laughs> we're really roughing it this weekend, if you can't tell. Shade tarp and a ceiling fan sitting here with a view of the lake, watching the boats go by. All right, guys, here's a little different look of camp, but basically we've been sitting in the shade right there all day. Chris has a little fan on. Uh, we went for a swim earlier, had lunch. And we've just been chilling out and just watching boats go by. A lot of people out fishing today. It's been a beautiful day. This spot here, I think I mentioned it earlier, it's campsite number 14 here in the Charles C.D. Wilderness area. But uh, you can reach this off of the Grub Ridge Trail or by boat like we did with our kayaks but just a killer spot here right on the lake plenty of room for a couple tents lots of hammock room and you can get down to the shore that way i just showed you and down this way where chris is at this is the way we came in this little trail here I'll show you where we got the kayaks So the kayak's parked right here, and then across, right there, is actually campsite number 15 in the Deem. So, I don't know how good that campsite is or what it looks like. There's been somebody over there all weekend as well. But yeah, beautiful day. We're going to get some dinner going here in a little bit. I don't know, I might jump in and go swimming one more time before it cools off. But, like I said, it wasn't as hot as it was yesterday, but we've had a killer breeze. It's been about 90 so really good, right Chris? Absolutely. Really good? Really good. So yeah, maybe uh, dinner here in a few and another swim. It's dinner tonight, I was trying to just keep it simple and easy. Lloyd, if you see us, sorry but I stole your barbecue. Just heated it up in the pan, brought some buns in, they got a little crushed but they survived and uh, it's actually really good. Just warmed it up, ta-da, there you go. So easy peasy dinner. Chris? What you want? Yeah. How's the Bison Ranch Masters? Very good. Very good? Very, very good. Okay. All right, man. There you guys have it. It's very, very, very good. I don't know how the uh, how well you can hear me, but uh, out for another little swim after dinner. Right, Chris? Where'd you go? There he is. What up? I don't know how the audio is, like I said, but this is like bath water. This water is so warm. It's but so warm. 
it still feels better than just the heat. So, I don't know. Hopefully, I don't see any sea monsters out here. Everybody, we are packed up and just getting on the water. We've got, I don't know, it seems like five or six miles. It's hard to tell, but I'll try to time it and see how long it takes us to get back. It's a peaceful night last night, no rain, no storms, nothing like that. I slept great. So, we're on the water and ready to go. Mm -hmm.